Well, another great race there with Stuart on back now for the Kim Muir Challenge Handicap Cup Chase. This is a 0 to 140, and well, it's like a reserve gold cup race, isn't it? Like the Ultima yesterday. And if it's as good a finish as that, we'll be happy. Three miles and one furlong this time. Akane Burn at the top for Martin Leadham, Edmund for John Morgan, Bridge Cape, Darren Thompson, Runner on Empty, Craig Allen, Square DJ, David Robertson, Ozark Rival, Vinnie Gerrard, Chili Bank Certain, Thomas Rogers, Green T, David Hooley, Nashville Ridley for Vinnie Gerrard, Boomerang Aman, Graham Clutterbuck, Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry, Danzig Caramel, Thomas Rogers, Hobson's Choice, Kevin Meanhan, Twinkle Toes for Stu Gray, Jadawi Stefano, James Shea, and what a sunrise for Craig Beckwith. So 16 then, I'm sure one or two of these were possibly going to go in the Gold Cup, but maybe they thought, take this slightly easier option, maybe, depending on what weight they'd got. But, um, called in and away, and... I know mine, and top weight, Akane Burn was going to go for the Gold Cup, but I thought it might just have a sneaky chance of carrying the weight round in this one. Better than in the Gold Cup, so let's see what happens. It's Chili Bang Certain, who's gone into the lead. Pace doesn't look all that hot as they make their way towards the first of the 20 fences that they've got to negotiate in this Kim Muir Challenge Cup. Boomerang Mar is in second. Janami Stefano back in third, the grey. On the outside is Edmund, that's one of John Morgan's greys, whether it's a front running one or not, not quite sure, because he hasn't got to the lead yet, and there's a faller at the first, Boomerang Aman has gone, so Boomerang will be boomeranging himself back to their stables, and he's out of it at the first as they take the water, and it's obviously all over safely, and it looks like Chili Bang Certain is going to have an uncontested lead, so Chili Bang Certain has got that four length lead that everybody seems to get, Gennaro Stefano is in second as they get to the ditch, and over that one they all go, one or two, a little bit untidy, but nothing too serious, apart from Danzig Caramel who went in the middle of the pack, so Danzig Caramel's gone as they take the fourth, and Chili Bang Certain continues to lead by a good five lengths to Genoa Stefano on the rail in second then Penny Arcade in third Edmund the ground on the outside is fourth Akane Burn in the red rum colours is next then comes Kevin Meenahan's Hobson's Choice runner on empty for Craig and after that there's another four there looks like Alex Cherry's Penny Arcade has gone so some crashing falls early on in this one and down to the sixth we go oh and Akane Burn nearly went there as well and one or two of these really need to get their act together if they're going to be around at the business end of the race. But Chili Bang certainly is doing all right in the lead. Six clear now of Jadawi Stefano in second. Hobson's Choice is third. Edmund is four. Akane Burn on the inside is in fifth. Jumped that one much better. Edmund made a bit of a mistake this time. Also, Green T wasn't foot perfect at the back. And what a sunrise for the all conquering Greg Beckwith. Stable is also out the back at this point. But there's still two miles to go in this one. And Chili Bang certain's lead is probably seven or eight now over Hobson's Choice in second. Another mistake on the inside this time by Genoa Stefano Akane Byrne jumps up into third and they're getting quite strung out as well the pace must be pretty hot and Chili Bang certain he's going to have to try and keep this up for the best part of two miles yet if he's going to win this so Chili Bang certain is then clearing the lead from Hobson's Choice who is in second place, Akane Byrne the top weight is in third, then Edmund is just shown fourth, Genoa Stefano on the inside but there's virtually six or seven in a line, Shear in fourth place at this point as they get to the ninth and over that one they go, that'll be the second last on the next circuit and Hobson's choice has gone at that one, well you didn't see it from the back but he's disappeared and he's out of the race, so over the tenth that'll be the last next time and one or two race goers what a little wave to us as we go by, but Chili Bang Certain is clear by eight lengths. Akane Burn has now been left in second, following the fall of Hobson's choice. Janawi Stefano is third, Square DJ is fourth, so past the big start, big big screen they go, past the stand, they'll now swing out left hand in front of the complete circuit, and Chili Bang Certain leads by eight. Akane Burn is in second, and Janawi Stefano is three. Nashville Ridley is four, Edmund is five, and Square DJ is six, and Twinkle Toes is seven, and then Bridge Cape is eight, and Ozark Rival nine, run on empty. 10 then water sunrise and green tea is the back marker as they get over number 11 they race down towards the water now then and chili bang certain is still well clear of Akane Byrne in second and Jadawi Stefano in third Edmund the Grey's in fourth then on that one's outside is Square DJ Nashville Ridley's on the inside Ozark Rival and Twinkle Toes are next Bridged Cape is also still there in that pack 
and green tea is just still the back marker as they take that ditch and they're all over that ditch okay with Chili Bang certain clearing the lead but only by about six now to Jadawi Stefano in second over the 14th they go Akane Burn third Edmund four then Nashville Ridley Square DJ looks to be going well on the outside Bridge Cape is going well as well what a sunrise is starting to creep into it round the outside you wouldn't rule that one out would you and it's Chili Bang certain by three or four only now to Jadawi Stefano over that big ditch Akane Burn was third Edmund was fourth. Then comes the square DJ and Bridge Cape Ozark rival on the inside. He's still trying to get into it, but it's Chili Bang Certain over it in front from Jadawi Stefano. Echo Akane Burn is in third. Then Bridge Cape and then Edmund. They're beginning to bunch now as the leader's only two lengths clear. And the jockey's trying to push it on again as Chili Bang Certain wants to try and re try and st remain in the lead, it's Chili Bang Certain over that one, a slow jump though, Jabari Stefano over it in second, Akane Burn over it in third, then Edmund four, Nashville Ridley was next, here comes Water Sunrise on the outside, they've only got three to jump, and now Chili Bang Certain is being attacked by the top weight, Akane Burn, Akane Burn goes into the lead then, over the third last, Akane Burn landed in front, from Chili Bang Certain in second, then comes Jadari Stefano, Edmund is next, then Water Sunrise and Bridge Cape, an Ozark rival, Akane Burn under a big weight is too clear, got two to jump, three furlongs to go though, and he's got a lot of weight on his back, Akane Burn is clear by about four, what a sunrise is coming out of a pack, then comes Chili Bang Certain trying to stick on, Ozark rival Bridge Cape, Edmund still there as well Akane Burn by five with two to jump Akane Burn comes down towards this second last in the lead, but he's tiring and he makes a bad mistake, and Chili Bang Certain's getting back up on the outside, then comes Edmund, Nashville Ridley's gone at the back Chili Bang Certain's back in the lead, here comes Edmund at the final fence, and it's Edmund on the outside of Chili Bang Certain Chili Bang Certain and Edmund is Edmund just poking his head in front Edmund the Grey from Chili Bang Certain those are rivals trying to finish well so too's Green Tea and Green Tea's trying to get up on the outside as they race up towards the line Chili Bang Certain those are rival Green Tea it's a real head bummer it's going to be those are rival I think he took it those are rival square DJ finished fast as well and looked like Nashville Ridley and Janari Stefano fell towards the end of the race but what a Thrilling finish. The handicapper has done a good job there with six, five of them finishing in a decent bunch. But it's Ozark rivals taking it for Vinnie Gerard with Green Tea second for David Hooley. Square DJ for David Robertson was the Chili Bank certain. The long time leader Thomas Rogers brave in fourth. Edmund looks certain to win jumping the last for John Morgan was fifth. And that came run couldn't quite lump the weight around. Maybe went a bit too soon, that one. Plenty of fallers. Action pack race. And I'm going to hand you over to Stu now, who's going to do the rest of the day's race up until the lucky last. And then I'll be popping in just to do the final race of the day.